Okay, so trying to explain the overall uh, of this PCR lab. So the goal of this lab is we, we give you two plasmid, right? We give you a, a wild type plasmid, PMSH2. You each one of you also have a mutant plasmid, PMSH2. Uh, to be sure, I'm going to put a minus there. So. We, we gave you the two plasmid, but how can you trust us, right? So if, if you watch the movie uh, Sherlock Holmes, you will say, well, here comes someone, so, oh, I'm your cousin. You should give me some money. No way, right? You don't trust that. We, we give you two plasmid, wild type PMS2, mutant PMS2. How can you trust us? This is the, the whole lab is to make sure your wild type is wild type, your mutant is the actual the mutant you want to study. So how do we do that? We know on the wild type PMSH2 there is a wild type gene. On the mutant one, there is a, you have a specific muta mutation somewhere, right? So and you we just found out the restriction enzyme going to cut either wild type or mutant around that mutation site. So we just need to use the, the re, uh, let's just use the example BMR1. This one seems to cut the mutant, but not the wild type. So, so but the whole plasma is, is 9.3 KB. If we use this enzyme to cut the plasma, you actually will get dozens of the band, you won't see it's so messy you won't see uh, many things so the way we do uh, we are looking at the side we are going to uh, do a PCR just amplify the region we want so there we have the mutation right here so we are going to do a PCR just to amplify that region uh, to use green so whoops sorry we just do a PCR amplify this region. That's the primer we, not the set of primer we give you. Uh, so you need to use AP to find out how big this is the, the, the size of this PCR fragment. That's the assignment for you. After you uh, finish the PCR, you uh, you have this fragment from wild type and the mutant, I mean that H2 minus. And for the mutant, you have the mutation. With the wild type, you don't. So, for the mutant you have a mutation, but wild type you don't. So, and then we use the enzyme to cut the wild type run on the gel will be one band, the the mutant will be a, a two band actually a smaller, not the, the right. so run on the agarose gel after we run this on the agarose gel. You put a size letter over here. So, uh, trying to find a, a, a eraser that didn't find. Okay, all right. 